All right, so as you can see here, we have an Optiplex 790, and we're going to show how to replace a rear fan, which is a very common error uh, of all Dell machines, not just the 790, but uh, many other models like the 7010, 7020, 9020, 9010, etc. cetera. Uh, basically all Dell small firms. So first thing, make sure of course that the machine is free, uh, completely disconnected so you can play around with it. Then uh, put it horizontally. Uh, so you can see the, the lid of the case. Uh, again, this side won't have any opening, so just make sure you're putting it right with the power button to this side. Then first thing is to open the lid. So we're just gonna grab it like this, pull this upwards. As you can see, there's a switch here that releases. And then we just need to lift the, the lid like this, on this direction. We can put it somewhere safe. And then first thing, um, in this model, you don't need to disconnect the DVD drive. You can just um, grab the handle right here that has the blue uh, indicator, lift it a little bit, and then slide it like that to the, to the opposite side to where it is. And you can just leave it here. Uh, if you prefer to, of course, uh, disconnect it first, that's fine as well. So I'm just gonna show how to do it that way. Uh, first, you will disconnect the uh, SATA cable just by pulling it out. Um, gently, of course, and then the power cable, same procedure. You just put one hand to hold the DVD, the other one pulls gently, try to probably grab the cable by its head, and there you go, it just goes out. And now you can do the same thing, so upwards to release the switch, and then slide. And then you can put it somewhere safe for now. Now the next thing, the next thing, sorry, uh, the hard drive, right? We need to release the hard drive so we have more space. Um, first, as you can see, the switch, it's locked. So with your finger, you can just slide it to the unlock position. Now you can lift this uh, harder case, and then um, you can disconnect it easily just by again pulling the cables. So there's one there, and the other one is right here. Don't be afraid to exert a little bit of force. Just again, try to be gentle and try to let it go as uh, smoothly as you can. You can put it right here. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is to remove what we call the face of the computer. So, uh, in this case, the face has three release switches here. So, you can just, with your fingers, uh, grab it like a, a hook, and then just push them upwards very gently so you don't break the, the face. Probably try to do them simultaneously, otherwise they might not come out. But once they are out, uh, you can just lift the case of the computer a little bit and just let the face go out. You can put it right here. And we have to do this so we uh, see the uh, screws of the fan. So uh, in this case, we just need to start with the easiest one we consider, in this case, this one, and then just pull one corner out. So as you can see, this is uh, made of rubber. So uh, you can sort of twist it a little bit so it actually comes out just like that. And then you can do the other ones. I always like to start uh, from the top because I think it's easier that way. And then, yeah, just don't be afraid to twist them so it, they actually come out. And you can just grab them with your fingers and push them with your nails and it should be fine. And it's almost out. There we go, okay. And now in this case, uh, we also want to disconnect the cable of the fan. So, um, we can just try to uh, remove this from here so it allows us to see the cable. And the cable is right here. So you can just uh, take it out of the blue holder here, just very carefully, just like that. And yeah, as you can see, this is the only cable that goes to the rear fan. So we just need to uh, disconnect it here. You can just move these cables from to the side and then uh, there's a switch here, as you can see, uh, right right there, that you just need to press with your uh, nail or finger, and then just pull the cable upwards. It's this switch right here. So you just press it, as you can see here, and then oh, I pull the cable. And so once you have done that, if you have already released the, the fan, it should come out. So this will be the defective fan, and then you can put it uh, somewhere else and take the replacement fan and uh, I'm gonna show you how to install it. So um, first, of course, this uh, rubber 
um, uh, holders will have to go to the outside of the machine, right? If you try to connect it this way, there's no way for the fan to grab the case. Um, if you prefer, since we have already disconnected all the cables that go here, we can also remove this so we have more space to work. And uh, this was put like this. So you just need to release it, okay? Later on, we can put, them, put it back. So first thing will be um, to insert the ones on the bottom. So as you can see, I uh, sort of tilt it to an angle, right? And then just make sure to align at least one corner. And then on this side, I just push it with my finger so it goes all the way uh, and it gets secure there. And then I do the same. So I, I also uh, tilt the, the fan and uh, try to put one of the other corners inside. And once it's already inside, then I just push it so it goes all the way to the corner, like to this little hole, right? And then we do the same uh, to the ones on top. So because it's rubber, it's sort of easy to, to be bent and uh, put in there. So just grab it and then put it all the way to the top. And finally, this one, same thing. This one might be the hardest one because you already have three in place. So it's, it's uh, holding the fan already really tight. But then yeah, just with your with your nails, just grab it and then try to sort of push it. And there we go, you see? So it, it's a stable now, it won't uh, fall. And then uh, you can just take the cable, which is right here, right? Uh, make sure you're putting it this way with the uh, with the switch towards that side. And um, yeah, this, this, this side, it's completely clean. It doesn't have any switch. This side has the switch, right? And then you will put it, you, you can see that the uh, the hole also has the space for the switch, right? So it's just like a puzzle. And then you just have to push it down. That's it. And you should hear and feel the click. And then if you try to sort of uh, push it back upwards, it won't, it shouldn't come out like this. Uh, so it's a stable connection. And now all that is left is just to rebuild the computer. So uh, first we have to put this, as you can see, there's a switch here or like um, a notch. So we will try to align um, a, this uh, cable ho holder right there. Yeah, just as you can see there, right there. And then we can put some cables on the cable holder because that's its purpose. That's why we have that piece here. So for example, the, the cable that we just connected from the fan and even this one, right? Okay, just like this. Uh, make sure this is free so the, uh, we don't have issues with the um, hard drive cage. Now, the first thing will be to uh, put the uh, face back, okay? So for the face, I recommend to hold the case in an angle, just like this. And then, as you can see here, we have some, some notches at the bottom of the face, right? So we will align those first with the holes on the case, just like this then just uh, make sure they are, you know, going in and then just sort of press it down. And then you can hear how uh, all the three clips are already uh, clipped together. And then just, you know, sort of try to exert a little bit of uh, pressure just to make sure it was uh, connected properly. And yeah, it looks like it was. So now you proceed with the hard drive First, you put it at an angle, just like this, right? So uh, this aligns with this. Uh, now your computer might, might have this uh, part um, as a square, as a rectangle instead of uh, circular, but it's the same thing. Just make sure it aligns properly and you can actually move it around like this and it stays there, okay? And the next thing will be uh, grab the power cables, uh, which are these two, and the set of cables, make sure they are out of the way of the cage and then just press the cage uh, down uh, so it can actually uh, align properly and then just slide the switch. So repeat that a little bit. So uh, you, just need, you just need to press it down a little bit, make sure you're not clipping any, any cables, just like this. And once you push it down, then you should be able to uh, put the uh, lock position on the switch. Uh, you can either connect the cables now or uh, you can connect them a little bit before. In my uh, personal preference, I prefer to do it at an angle. It's, uh, it's easier. And then just make sure, of course, you are aligning the L form properly with the L form of the, of the hard drive. As you can see, again, it's, it's like a puzzle. So just connect this one first 
and then the long SATA cable, right? Again, has the same shape, just a little bit uh, smaller. You connect it right here. There you go, perfect. So two connections right okay. there. And then again, we just sort of try to get the cables out of the way, push it a little bit down, and then lock it. And it's good to go. And last but not least, uh, the DVD drive. So uh, if you want, you can connect it first. Uh, same thing as a hard drive. It works exactly the same. The connectors have an L shape uh, in both sides. So you just need to align it properly, push them. And then once it is connected, you can uh, put it in first like this. So don't try to uh, press it down like, like this, but try to leave a little bit of space so you can slide it forward. Uh, so once you feel it's, you know, it's there and it can be uh, sl uh, slided, then just slide it forward until you hear that, that uh, click sound. And you can see here that it's aligning properly with the face. And if I press it down, it doesn't uh, go or move backwards. So that's it. And then at the end, just uh, I put the uh, case back, align these notches with the holes here, and we're good to go.